also, when I leave chocolate, if you look at trees going out of trees in watery areas, they love water. Everything loves water. Your job is to plant carrots around every water infrastructure you can. Carrots grow on riverbanks. That's where carrots need to go. Um, turnips, carrots, um, you're in ravines, period. Rivers, that's where all carrots should be planted. Um, if you go into the Abbotsford Ravine, I build pyramids in there with sticks. And then you know what they do? They build better ones. Way better. You should see the craftsmanship. If you want to see a dragon made of iron or technology, you talk to a fucking gnome. There is no better, well, there is, but they're equal to. They're just really good at it. Um, you can see, if you go to the Abbotsford Ravine where you see a tree laying down with a whole bunch of little trees. Um, I, cl I go out there where nobody can see me and I build pyramids. And then when I come back the next day, pyramids are all over the place like flowers growing everywhere fucking everywhere they'll take skunk cabbage and rip the leaves off and put down with a bunch of rocks in it as a gift for for me for at least trying i didn't have the right resources to give them an abundance like i wished but i would go to walmart and steal seeds and I would tell people that I work for the city and I would fill the flower gardens all with and one inch deep of sunflower seeds. And then when I traveled different cities, everywhere I looked, guess what was, guess what was growing in places where they shouldn't be growing? Sunflowers. And everywhere. In the ravine. In yards where people have been murdered and gone. Um, the house on the corner of Ware Street, uh, closest to the school, I've watched that house get murdered three times with three different sets of families on the doorstep of their families and their kids getting murdered and then them getting murdered again and them getting murdered again and them getting murdered again. When I smoke DMT... I hang out with Pleiadians. And then all of a sudden, there's artwork of Pleiadians everywhere and chalk, the same ones that I see. Also, to paint a picture, you have to learn how to use your arm straight and to do it like a dance move. That's how you draw with sacred geometry for a straight line. That's how the Simpsons are drawn. Your homework, if you want to see a pyramid take more form, is to... So the Vatican and the library that was supposed to be for general public that was stolen when the Bible was changed. It was created for all public, but then it was changed and it was kept secret. But it is in recirculation. And you can find it with any book with a triangle on the barcode. My favorite, I'll say again, is Bartholomew's Guide to the Galaxy. Also, check out The Unknown on Facebook. I just have to say that. It's fucking adorable. Um, but look for like Serpent Rising or The Hidden Code and then take a picture with it with your phone and then you can see, if you ever find a file that's blocked and you want to see classified information, just use your lens on your phone if you're on my infrastructure. Or if you've made friends with the little guy. Anyways, you might not be there yet, but one day I'm sure you will be. Just keep practicing. 
and foods meant to be given to you after you give it away. When I was homeless, the only people that gave me food was homeless people. Oh, and more importantly, when you go under that bridge to visit Dua Lipa, the black guy that lives under there, I call him Black Pope. He's one of the 12. You'll recognize him from UFC fighting or Blood Diamond, the movie. You can't miss him. And uh, Alanis Morissette lives under there. And Queen Elizabeth. Her name is now Elizabeth Blue. And she's beautiful. She's like 19. It's Queen Elizabeth. She lives under that fucking bridge. Kind of. Most of the time she does. I gave up my bed at the shelter so she could have somewhere to sleep. And she's kind of like a pixie now. She looks like a pixie girl. Gnomes also... I've met all of the seven dwarves and they're very thick humans, but have our size. And they're not like the typical small person. You'll know one if you see one. But in order to see one, you need to learn how to frequency down with sound. I've explained this to the FBI, but not to you. Listen to hang long H E I L U N G. Touch the speaker. Raise your spiritual vibration up. Um to sing with a celebrity to channel them. Probably the easiest for a noob would be to go into a body of water so their serpent can come into you. And then sing like a frog would um, to the music you want to hear or you want to sing like. Um, at a mommy, pop like a pea, doesn't matter to me. But with this trick, you should be able to swim like a fish. With, after you're embodied, you can now swim without using your hands or feet, getting pulled around by a serpent. And you can also pedal your bike up a hill without pedaling. Um, so go underwater, take a pee, let them come in, sing with the radio. Also, what's really fun with a train track is... Putting your speakers on a train track. If you really want to be felt from the beyond, you frequency train tracks. When I talk about infrastructure, the first infrastructure and the easiest one to light up with radio is that of a train track. If you do that under the bridge, listen to Eminem. Every person in the city will turn into Eminem and probably want to kill you. If you do it with Miley Cyrus, every person will turn into Miley Cyrus. I had a Miley Cyrus that was about 79 years old and gave me half a sandwich once. She was probably the only person with money to ever feed me. Ever when I was starving. Just like the good old days. And the rest of you, I'm fucking disappointed as fucking you. Fucking hate you. And I'm not joking. That's why I refuse. If I listen to Lady Gaga, then because I want to marry her, and I've told her personally, I will not sing like you. Unless you're with me. And when I listen to music, people will turn into her and start crying. I refuse to do this virally unless society makes me not want to die. Period. Give me a reason to live for 
and then we'll go to the Vatican. We'll make the planet want to fuck other planets instead of just get fucked by them because that's all that's happening. And hope starts here. Also, if you take a train drag and you start tanging it, also look at the little rocks around the train track. They're beautiful. Like, actually look at them. Oh, and the ser water serpents. If you're in the ravine, look at how the rocks are laying in there. They're actually dragons. I'm not joking. If you dig in the ground a little bit in any flat area, just enough to break the top of the soil, you'll pull a gnome out made of root. You could do the same thing if you weren't so stupid. That's why, well, one of the many reasons why I still hate you. Because I'm not going to sing unless you sing too. I can be rude and be embodied by 157 people and age backwards with them all inside of me and turn into one epic being. Like the elemental blue wants me to. The lightning god Thor. I call them three wise inside. They're very special to me. But I want to believe in the fairy tale that I've been in the forest before and I've run into a deer man. I've run into an at when I say Britney Spears is a deer. Think about the pharaohs, okay? The cheetah, cheetah person. If you're in Abbotsford, you'll see Catman written everywhere. I wear suits of animals. I'm Warthog Man. And gray alien and shit. And a lizard. I'm a bunch. And a really fucking huge strong guy. You should see me get mad with him inside of me. Big old Cyclops. I'll fuck you up. Um, now I can just take my shit and that's every husband and wife out there that I love and that loves me back and go get fucked with them and leave you here in jail and I have no problem with that or you can act civilized and take seeds and start seeding shit and putting food out for something other than your fat, stupid mouth and listen to me. Okay? When I said you'll see the gnome prince under the bridge, the ones in the ravine aren't gnomes. And we can even say one Bigfoot. Also, you know where Pamela Anderson lives? I could take you to her house. And if you have a chance to watch my court that I've been, my lawyer is John fucking Candy. Okay? He's my lawyer. I fired him. And if I'll fire fucking John Candy, I will fucking rip you a new asshole. Think about it. I need progress and perfection or nothing. Get out of my fucking way. Fucking charge me for sugar crisps. To feed my best friends. And call me handy. You call me handicapped. Fuck you. <laughs>